Hi everyone, my name is Scott Wilson and welcome back to the, the next lesson for um, this course on Uscript and Unity. So, so far we've set up our player, player movements and being able to, to shoot bullets. So the next thing really we need to do is now start having in some enemies that we can actually fire against or um, basically kill and they can um, also kill us. So in this first, uh, this quick lesson we're just going to set up a new prefab which will be our enemy. We will set up a nice material and just some other properties and then we'll actually attach a new brand new U script to it. So let's get started. Um, so we're just going to have it the exact same as our player but just a different color. So in Unity, I'm just in my, my, my Unity uh, program and I'm just going to go to Game Object, Create Other and we're just going to make another cube. This cube we're pretty much going to have identical to our, our player. So this guy is uh, 000, scales 1, um, let's put that 000 for the time being, let's try that again, 000, zero, zero. and I'll just pull him out a wee bit, it doesn't really matter where he is really. Under the name, it's really important that we rename our object, so I'm going to call this enemy. Under tag, um, I've already done this, um, I've made a new tag called enemy. Uh, somewhere yeah, at the very bottom, but for you guys just click on add tag and You should have element 0 and a blank element 1 so under element 1 just type in enemy and that should be that set up back to our enemy object we just um, Why did that not rename? Let's try that again Make sure it saves at this time. Thank you and under tag. We're just going to change this to enemy Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a new material as well so we've already made some materials in our asset browser. One for the bullet, one for the floor, the gun, the player, as well as the sides, excuse me, the sides of the, the level. So we're just gonna right click in our materials folder, we're gonna click on create and go down to the material. And we're gonna call this M for material underscore enemy. And this is just the default enemy. Under main color, we're gonna make this a nice evil red. Um, under shader, we're going to choose a specular. So there's a wee bit of a shine going on. Under specular color, you can choose whatever color you wish. So I'm just going to go for something like purpley, bluish color. And you can change the shininess to your own liking. I'm going to go with about there. And then we just drag the material, not onto our floor, but onto our player. Or sorry, our enemy itself. So this is our enemy so far. It's just a little box, which is fine. Um, remember, this is just a prototype at the moment. Um, for kind of prototyping game ideas, everything is typically what's known as grey boxing. So everything you see is kind of squares and cubes. Um, from a gameplay point of view, it's fully functional. And then if you were doing this as a kind of like a proper game project, you would then have an artist um, who would, you know, colour in everything with uh, nice 3D models and textures and so on. But really, this is just about building a, a, a functional prototype. So here's our functional enemy so far. When I say it's functional, it's just a box. <laughs> so, um, of course, we now need to add the, the U script to it. So to get into U script, we just go to Tools, U script Editor, and let that open. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click File and New, in case you're already in a, another script. And from there, I'm just going to click File, Save As, and we're just going to save this in the default use scripts folder and we're going to call this enemy script and click save now of course it wants to ask if you want to assign this to the master game object for these kind of things we definitely want to say no if it says yes um, it'll apply to the game level itself so instead we want to click on no so it's just going to compile the script for me and we're done so we're just going to click on X here and now we need to just assign the script to our, our object. So like with the player, we're just gonna click on this. We're gonna go to component, U scripts, sorry, U script, graphs, and we're just gonna plug in the enemy script here. And now that's made a new component with the, the appropriate script applied to it. So now what we can do is, um, we're actually just gonna make this as a prefab now. It's gonna click in my assets browser, down to resources. And these are our resources in our game. We have our bullet prefab and we have our player prefab. So in the resources, or sorry, in the, the hierarchy, we're just going to drag our enemy, click and drag the enemy 
right over into the resources folder itself. And that's going to make this as a new uh, prefab called enemy. We don't need this guy anymore, so we're just going to click on delete. So that's our enemy setup um, in terms of the prefab. In the next lesson, we will then look at how to actually set up the, uh, the, the looking at and the enemy movement. So I will see you in the next video.